There's a wonderful story hidden in these walls, and I'm going to find it. Lee, be careful! Forever is the song and the life! Welcome to this special edition of Huntley Hope. It's a behind the scenes look. Now at the beginning, Cheryl, we saw Ice Dragon, a little trailer. It's coming out in March of 2018. It's got adventure, it's got love, it's got everything, and it's quite amazing. It's really inspirational. I Okay, so I have to, full confession, I have actually seen the film, you know, a little sneak pre peek at it. Okay. And I loved it. I was really, I was, you know, really emotionally moved by this film, and I think that Kids will love it. I, I loved it as an adult, but I like animated films. I'm, I'm those people that tries to find a child to take to the theater to see a film. <laughs> well, now that I have a grandson, that, that'll be my excuse. <laughs> yeah, I, he's like, what, yeah. now, like a month old? You're going to, like, take him to the theater? <laughs> well, I will, yeah. But I, I love, you know, to be inspired, and again, with adventure and some of the things we're going to see. And uh, this is a project that was sitting on the shelf for a number of years. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. But one of the things that we do here at Crossroads at Huntley Hope and all the things that we're doing is to have programming that is for children. We live in a time where there's a lot of things out there that are pulling their attention towards, let's say, the dark side. But this is something that's got light to it, inspiration and hope. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to give you a special behind-the-scenes look at the making of Ice Train in just a moment. Yeah. But first, we just want to give you a sneak peek at why we do what we do here and what we do. Take a look at this. Media. This medium, curated, created, constructed, and colluded to communicate, to influence, to connect, and entertain with ease, with speed. Over seven billion people yearning to connect, yearning to be fed, always looking out for whatever's cool, whatever's funny, whatever's trending, whatever's viral, not realizing we've all been infected with this virus that is fatal. The medium is the message, chaos in this era, in this mess age. But are we receiving the message? Like a soldier on a mission, an important delegation to spread, deliver something amidst the clutter. That selfie that needs to get a hundred likes faster than a shutter, programmed to scroll up and down like a machine, not focusing on what's really beyond our screen. To be able to argue anonymously, defending all our opinions, all our theories, too busy looking for our next favorite TV series to blind ourselves from what we really need. That one thing to fill that other thing we call the void, that deep inside we are all hurting. We all have weakness, all our standards have been reverting. That in spirit and in truth we need to be cared for, to be tended to, to be looked after. But with all these influx of images, emails, and text messages, there has been one message that was sent to us like a missionary. That one message that means unconditional in the dictionary. Social media wherein shallowness is constantly being celebrated. That one message brings depth and it's where optimism is reinstated. Where mainstream news is fueled by entertainment that is backwards. That one message brings the good news of hope forward. When the message is replaced for ratings, when we're all constantly blaming, constantly naming, yet no one is really looking where superficial perfection is advocated everywhere we look. It's our weakness and imperfection. That's beauty we should not overlook. Where inauthentic highlight reels and spotlights are the facades we always see. What really matters are the genuine moments that go on behind the scenes. Where fast cars and fast food can monetarily keep you satisfied. There's one message that can make all your transgressions nullified. 
When everything is constantly moving, constantly changing, there is one thing that will not change. That one thing, both the cause and the effect of that beautiful exchange. One thing that will outlast our lives. One thing that lasts longer than time itself. One thing that knows no bounds, no status, no color. One thing that will never lose value over time. One thing that is worth much more than money, more than fame. One thing that screams love, hope, joy, peace, and affection. That one thing has a name. As missionaries, we are here to share that one name, Jesus. That only name that can redeem any past or shame. Using the ease and speed of media to spread light to the lost, to communicate, to influence, to inform, to connect, to love. We are media missionaries. Well, if you ever wondered why we do what we do, I couldn't have put it any better. You know, we live in a culture of shallowness, of comparison, of competition, anxiety, of depression, and yet we're here to bring hope. That's what we call this Huntley Hope. I hope that you're encouraged today, and we want to give you resources, things that are going to build into positivity. Yeah. Man, there's a need for positive dialogue and hope in our culture. Hey, you know, and I know with you know with my children, grandchildren, and, and future generations, is we need to have and reinforce this positive message of, of Jesus Christ and the hope that he brings. I mean, the calls that we get into Crossroads, the people that are you know desperate for help. So we want to have something that will inspire people, and that's that's why we do it. we do, Cheryl. Absolutely. I could tell you about some calls we got just recently. Literally mm -hmm. people with a gun and a yeah. knife in their hand about to take their lives. Just the end of November, four people walking the earth today because of mm -hmm. our prayer lines and the resources that the help of God that we are able to give. So there is hope for you. We want you to know that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to introduce you to a little bit about Ice Drag and the making of it, the heart behind it, and also just the amazing music oh. and story. So, so let's we, take Yeah, we get to go behind the scenes, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see how this all works worked out. Long ago, the people would sing the song with thankful hearts. There was truth and beauty in it, and all was as it should be. Blue daisies were everywhere, a sign and a promise to all who believed. But over time, the hearts of the people changed, and the song was all but forgotten. It was then that the ice dragon came. From the dark shadows of time it rose, its cold heart beating with one purpose, to silence the song forever and to bring endless winter. But this story seems just an old fable now, and the song just a forgotten melody. Ice Dragon began as a short story that I wrote in what was then Leningrad, Russia in 1990. Um, the original story was called Blue Daisies in the Summer of Winter, and it was written for my children. Um, I was reflecting on the state of communism that had been there for so long in that country and the hopelessness that seemed to have gripped people. And now when freedom had arrived through perestroika, how they were struggling to really uh, remember what it was like before communism. The Blue Daisy story sat in my drawer for almost 25 years until I was encouraged to bring it out and I thought this might make a nice little animated story. Well. Animation always begins with a script and a storyboard, and I had to take that simple story that didn't feature a dragon and turn it into something more compelling for animation. Well, I, yeah, I always figured that this opens up into another ledge here and then a bigger drop. Yeah, I had two Lukes on my side in the early days of getting Ice Dragon launched. Uh, Luke Conrad from Cartoon Conrad Productions and Luke Buxton, who was our art director, we went through a lot of paper and a lot of coffee in those early days. Riel Reese was cast as the voice part for Melody. And um, she was actually cast long after we had designed the animated characters. And, um, but she was the perfect fit for Melody. Uh, a beautiful uh, combination of spunkiness, uh, innocence, and strength all wrapped up in a little package and uh, Riel did a fantastic job. 
So the process was definitely different. Um, I'm more so accustomed to, as you said, live performances. And this was kind of cool because it's like we're just, we did it all in a studio. The storm is getting nasty out there. I know. People are running out of firewood and food, Leaf. I don't know what to do. Have you seen Nikolai? No, I haven't. I saw him leave for the mountains. The crazy old fool. What? <laughs> oh, no. It's really all about your voice, you know, and, and like really bringing out that emotion in the character in order to portray the story. So, you know, it's not as easy as a lot of people may think, but I think it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed the process. Justin Dubé was another great find for the character voice of Leaf, and we had a lot of fun in the studio recording that dialogue. Hunter, come here, boy. Where is that pup? He was chasing that little bird. Look, I can see more tracks. Come on. Justin's character is a doubter. Um, he's really finding it hard to believe in dragons. We don't believe in dragons. In the song, um, but he wants to believe. So he was kind of this conflicted character, drawn to Melody because of the song and because of the beauty he saw in the song in her, uh, but never quite making the jump to believe himself. I don't know, Nikolai. I want to believe, but I still have my doubts. That's excellent. A man without a doubt never had a thought. Faith always begins with questions. You're closer to believing than you think. And uh, that was pivotal to have uh, a symbol for the unbelieving villagers uh, in a character in the story and to have him come around to seeing the truth in the end. Okay, here we go. Take two. Hey, what are you doing here? No, no, shh, shh, quiet. There's a dragon. So Melody, she's definitely a spunky, adventurous character. I love her bravery and also the fact that she stands up not only for her grandfather but for herself. And I think that's important, you know, especially for young girls nowadays, you know, to really get their voices out there. And especially if it's a subject that they care about, it's important to really uh, stand up for what you believe. The character of Nikolai was inspired by a number of amazing men that I've known in my life. Uh, Nikolai was a believer in a world of unbelievers, and um, he was eccentric, he was wise, often misunderstood, but Nikolai knew the truth, and we needed someone who could convey that kind of eccentric nature and have fun with the role and still uh, be compassionate and kind and uh, a grandfather type for Melody. Uh, Bill Bray and I have worked together on a number of productions over the years. When I thought of a voice for the character of Nikolai, I thought immediately of Bill Bray. If you'd only listen, open up your heart, with a little faith you'd see. There is so much more to life than meets the eye. Have a little faith, believe. The relationship between Nikolai and Melody in the story was particularly important, so we decided to record Riel and Bill together, and that really worked out. What's the matter with all of you? <laughs> Are you all right, Nikolai? I'm, I'm fine, dear. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. He wasn't doing anything wrong. He was just trying to show you the truth it's, about... It's all right, Melody. It's over now. Let's just go home. Why didn't you fight back? They're our friends. I have no quarrel with them. You call them friends? I'm trying to be their friend, yes. Not all battles are won with a sword. Read, you'll see. I love you, Nikolai. I love you too. The kids in Ice Dragon were all real kids. They weren't adult actors. Um, I know some of them personally. They were grandchildren. Um, and you know what they say about working with kids and animals? Well, I'm here to tell you that I've worked with adults who are far less well-behaved than these kids, and we had a great time. And the song could even change sad to glad. Where did the song come from? Well, it was a gift, you see. 
A gift? Yes, from the great giver of gifts. Great. So let's try this on him. So we're going to go, Nikolai says something, and then you're going to say, can you teach me the song, Nikolai? You try it. Can you teach me the song, Nikolai? That's good, but let's do it a little more exciting. Can you teach me the song, Nikolai? Perfect. Can you teach us the song, Nikolai? Yes, will you please? Of course I will. I am Michael, Defender of the Realm. I can defeat the evil Dracon. Yeah! I am Michael, Defender of the Realm. I can defeat the evil Dracon. Yeah! <laughs> Because of the limited budget for Ice Dragon, we had to make some decisions about visual effects early on in the production. And we decided to work with 2D animation and enhance those characters in post. Um, it was quite a process because we were working with 2D painted cells and vector-based animated characters. And then we brought them into a program called After Effects and we took all of those many layers and treated them with gradients and shadows and lighting effects, and that's what's putting the sizzle on the screen. Songs and music are very important to the story of the Ice Dragon. After all, it's the song that defeats the dragon, so we worked very hard to make the songs special. I had some great help in this regard, um, Ian Tanner and Roy Uman both worked on the score, and uh, we had a great time recording the songs. What I like to do is have the girls uh, double what the guys did. In each, in each heart, who will be? And then join back in with the other parts. Yeah, but you gotta make it sound really coral and really smooth. Do you want us to say? Do it. Yeah, ever. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, here it comes. Songs and music are very important to the Ice Dragon story. It's the song, after all, that defeats the Ice Dragon. The Nikolai and Melody in the story are particularly important because they believe in the song. And their mission was to convince the rest of the village that the song could rescue them from the Ice Dragon. She thinks that I'm too messed up to Mark Underdown is a talented producer and composer, originally from the UK and now working in Canada. Mark has an amazing pop sensibility, and I asked him if he'd co-write and produce a couple of songs with me for the project. We collaborated on the music for Maybe Not and the final song, Living in the Light. Mark sang so great on the demo that I asked him to sing the lead vocal. Once upon a time when the song Lived in our hearts, we still believed that true love could save the day. Then we turned and walked away, and the cold and darkness came until you heard our cry and said. Maybe Not is a song about the relationship between Leaf and Melody, two opposites that attract. Leaf, wait! Oh, why does he make me so... Why won't he just listen to me? Different to ever get along. But then there 
they're having like this, this war. Like she's trying to be understood by him and at the same time he's trying to be understood by her and they're just not really meshing. You know, there's a bit of ego and there's a bit of like, you know, wanting to be defensive at the same time. So it's a fun song because it's like, she thinks he doesn't listen and he's just like, no, she's judging me. Like, you know, it's really cute. But then again, hmm, maybe not. Uh, we couldn't afford a big budget for a symphony for the music in Ice Dragon. Roy, Uman, and Ian Tanner needed to make our music big and beautiful on a budget, and they did that. We had um, literally hundreds of tracks. Uh, the mix took uh, what seemed like endless winter to complete, uh, but we got there and uh, we were all pretty happy about the results in the end. <laughs> Who is that? It's only the wind. I'm sorry. She's just frightened. We all are. That's okay. Sometimes I get afraid too, you know. But when that happens, do you know what I do? What? I remember a promise. Never Ever Leave You is really a lullaby and a prayer. And um, this song is very special to me because one of my grandchildren, Autumn, sings the part of the little girl. When you hear something frightening, thunder and lightning outside your window pane, just remember this promise, I will be with you. Try not to be afraid, for I will never ever leave you, even when you're sleeping, always keep you warm and safe. My love is all around you now. When it's dark in the night time and you hear voices from just outside the door, just remember this promise, I will be with you. Don't be afraid anymore, for I will never The giver of gifts promised that he would always be with us. And never ever leave us. Yes, now you've got it. If I hear something frightening, thunder and lightning outside my window pane, I'll remember your promise to stay here with me and I won't be afraid. For you will never There's so much hope, and um, I love that aspect that there's a message of faith and hope in the Ice Dragon, um, mainly because I think, you know, everybody wants to, when you go to the movies, you kind of want to go away having, feeling, feeling as if you've experienced something and you've taken something away. I love watching the behind the scenes of how things are made. And animation is such a fascinating art. The music in this was amazing. I gotta be honest, like I, I got teary eyed. I know I'm an adult, but I, I really loved it. It really touched me. Well, if you got teary eyed, I'm gonna be like pouring, leaking <laughs> everywhere. Cause I, I just love, you know, cause you've got adventure. So you're, you're kind of appealing to the boys. You've got the romantic side too, which appeals to the girls and probably the guys too. But I like, I, what I love about this is that Bruce Daisy has a long connection, of course, here to Crossroads. And he first wrote it in 1991 when he was over in St. Petersburg in Russia. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of sat. 2014, 
He picks it up again. He was encouraged to do that. And now we have Ice Dragon. So again, I'm looking forward to going and seeing it. Yeah, and I think you see the power of a parable, you know? So mm. it's it's a story with with a, with a, with a lesson, almost mm -hmm. like a, with, a, with a point. It's really inspirational. It is coming to theaters on March 17th. We'll be talking more about that on this program and 100 Huntley Street and our various other Crossroads mm -hmm. media. So make sure to look out for that. And we need to get behind these, Cheryl, and support them because there's a lot of things out there that are pulling our kids towards the dark side. Mm -hmm. And we need to have positive reinforcement uh, to the gospel message, hearing about Jesus, but in, in a way through animation. So again, I'm looking forward to going to have my popcorn. I'm going to have my three-month-old grandson there. And I'm uh, going to go check it out. Awesome. Well, we'll be back with some closing, closing thoughts. God's love is like a fire. When it ignites and when it spreads, it can transform anyone. I called 100 Huntley Street the prayer line, and that was a real turning point in my salvation. We serve a God who can take the ashes, the broken pieces of our life, and he can make something beautiful. So I said, hmm. God, if you're this real, I will do anything that you want me to do. God's love story can inspire anyone to make a difference in the lives of people around the world. We are very sure, we are very optimistic about our future because we know we will plant, we will have water to drink. You become influential by setting a new pace. The gospel is timeless. Every single person has a story, but we're all part of God's greater story, which is the greatest story of all. And the reason we do what we do is we want to bring inspiration and hope uh, to not only our generation, the generations to follow, and, uh, you know, to have, you know, value-based programming that really helps people, encourages, and strengthens them. Absolutely. There's so much about Ice Dragon that talks about friendship and loyalty and gratitude and faith in God and fighting evil and just great themes that you want to invest in your kids. We want to ask for your continued support that we can continue to bring programs like this to you. If you want to be part of what we're doing here at Huntley Hope and at Crossroads, please give us a call at 1-800-265-3100. You can also give online at crossroads.ca. We could not do it without you. And for so many of you who have been faithful supporters of this ministry, we just want to say a huge thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ice Dragon coming out March 17th, 2018. Again, as Cheryl mentioned, we will uh, keep you advised of that, uh, the website and all of it. Bring your kids. Let's pack the theaters. Let's get this kind of programming right across Canada. I think you made a great point. You know, we can complain about what we don't like that's out there in media. When there is something out there that's positive and life-giving, we need to show up and support it and vote with our dollars, yeah. right? Because that's what keeps it in the theater. Are you going to be bringing your new grandson? Uh, my grandson. Oh, and he, I think, yeah. he, how old then? I think he be four months at that time. Can a four-month-old <laughs> actually go to a theater? Are you allowed to bring four-month-olds? Maybe these? not. I don't want them crying and distracting everybody else. <laughs> but hey, thank you again for your support and appreciate you tuning in and we'll see you next time on Huntley Hope. Bye-bye. Thank you for your ongoing support of Crossroads, a member of the Canadian Council of Christian Charities. You can write to Crossroads, P.O. Box 5100, Burlington, Ontario, L7R 4M2. There's a wonderful story hidden in these walls, and I'm going to find it. Lee, be careful! Forever is the song and the light.